This is Nick with logosbynick.com and today I'll be demonstrating how you can take your installation of GIMP and give it a bit of a makeover by giving it a nice dark theme and with some nice updated icons like you see here in the preview thumbnail for the video. So the first step we want to do is uh, first of all close out of GIMP if you currently have it open. So we'll go ahead and close out of GIMP by Xing out of that and let me minimize that. And what we want to do now is open up a file, uh, open up a folder or a file explorer. And this is for Windows, by the way. If you're doing this with Linux or, um, you know, Linux, Ubuntu, or Mac, uh, there will be instructions in the description of the video. So to do this on Windows, we're going to come over here, open up a file explorer. We're going to click on our C drive, which is the local, uh, the local disk. We're going to click on program files. And we're going to look for GIMP2. Go ahead and click on GIMP2. And then we'll go to share. And then we'll go to GIMP and then 2.0. And uh, we're gonna look for themes right here, this folder called themes. And this is the folder where we wanna be because we're gonna download something and place it in this folder right here. And if you're, if you're doing this on Linux or Mac, the installation is pretty much the same. It's just that the only difference is you have to follow a different pathway to get to this designated folder. So just go, again, go ahead and check the, uh, the description of the video for uh, Mac and Linux and, uh, is, uh, instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and just push this off to the side now. What I want to do is click on this link that I've uh, linked in the description of the video. This is where we're going to go to download this file that's going to give us a nice theme for GIMP. So I'm going to come over to this link here. I'm going to download. I'm going to click the button that says download the flat GIMP uh, archive file. Go ahead and download that. And it's going to take you to DeviantArt. This user here, uh, Android272, was kind enough to upload this for us to use. So I'll go ahead and click the download button here. And it should start downloading like you see here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink this window down. And bring down the size a little bit. Let me minimize this. And once it's done downloading, I'm just gonna click and drag it onto the desktop for now. This is just temporary, I'm not gonna leave that there. And let me close out of this, close out of that. Let me just minimize this in case I have to go back there. And I'm gonna open up our folder here with GIMP. And I'm gonna put this off to the side and I'm gonna open up this zip file here. And what I wanna do in this zip file is I want to go to the flat GIMP icon theme v2. I want to go to GIMP underscore orange. And I want to take all of these folders. I'm going to highlight all of them. And I'm just going to click and drag them into the GIMP folder over here. And it's going to ask you, uh, you need like special permission to do this. So just make sure you're logged in as an administrator on your system. I already am on mine. So I'm going to go ahead and click the box that says do this for all current items. Go ahead and click continue. And it's going to place all those folders in there. And we're almost done, but not quite. We need to go back and grab another folder. So what I'm going to do is in this downloaded folder, I'm going to go back to um, this folder here. And I'm going to look for the folder called Decor. I'm going to right-click that. Actually, I'm just going to click and drag that into the GIMP folder as well. Go ahead and click Continue to allow that to go through. And this may take a few minutes or a minute or two to uh, load into here. It must be a pretty big file. Okay, so now that's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, um, we're gonna close out of this. In fact, you could even go and delete this now. I'm just gonna press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And let's go ahead and open up GIMP now that we've done that. And if you notice, nothing has happened yet. We still have the old theme. What we have to do now is we have to go to edit, preferences, and we have to click on the button that says, uh, the, the list item that says theme. And we have all of our themes right here. So we have GIMP, uh, we have Dark GIMP Orange, Darker GIMP Orange. I'm going to go with Darker GIMP Orange, uh, not the small one, the uh, regular one. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And again, nothing happens because we have to close out of GIMP and restart it. So let's close out of GIMP and open it back up again. And there we have our nice, dark, sleek looking installation of GIMP with these nice updated icons. I really like these icons here. Uh, I tip my hat to whoever designed them. That's really nice work. So that's how you can do that with um, GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.